Interactive components can make your website feel a lot more personable and engaging to your users or your audience. And in this video, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cover five amazing Webflow clonables that have incredible interactions that you can add to your site today, right now, just using a simple click of a button. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first one here is gonna be Hokkaido, which is a free horizontal scrolling template. Now, this one's pretty simple to understand. It's just a very simple side scroll, but the actual design that they've given you is actually quite nice to begin with. So once you click on it, it allows you to jump into a different page. And so those horizontal scrolling are actually part of a CSS collection. So I'm just gonna reset this really quick so we can actually see what this is all about. And we see that there is that animation at the beginning as well. So these kind of small interactions, like the side scroll right here, the very subtle zoom here when we scroll over the card. All of this just adds to your website. Now, granted, all the examples I'm gonna talk about here are mainly cosmetic additions to your website, right? They're not in increasing the speed performance of load time or anything like that. It's all cosmetic. But anyways, this can make your website feel more personable to the end user, and it'll also allow them the option to interact with it more. So let's jump right into the Webflow here and we can see how they did it. So one of the benefits of having this Webflow clonable here is that we can see exactly how this person did it. So we can see here that this is a CMS collection. This is a project list. And if I go ahead and hide this loading screen here, just with a layer panel, if I just delete that really quick, we can see exactly how this person did it using all the different layers here. Now, I'm not gonna go too deep into the layers, but we can see that we can get a top-down view of everything. All the layers are included here and also all the interactions and animations. So you can see exactly how everything happens here. This is the content scroll, but you can obviously see everything else on your own time. I'm not gonna waste too much more time. Let's jump right into the next one now. This is a full page clonable, and it's not necessarily specifically only an interaction, but it has so many great interactions in this entire clonable that I wanted to cover it. So this is a template for a design conference, and the design itself is pretty simple. It's got some nice fonts, but what I do wanna showcase and what I think is very valuable is how this person created this stackable card interaction here. Now, again, all of this is quite cosmetic. It's not gonna make your website 20 times better, but again, it adds that little bit more of interactability and personability to your website. Then it also gives you this almost like an about link hover interaction here. And if you can imagine this with maybe an FAQ, maybe an about section, something like that. But this person decided to do it with a speaking lineup. So we can see a little bit about who this person is. And if we click on it, it'll take us directly to their actual page. Also, as we scroll down here, we have a horizontal marquee animation that is quite simple to do in Webflow by itself. But one of the benefits of using something like Webflow clonables for this is that you can actually see directly in the project file itself how this person decided to create that animation. Then as we scroll further down, we get this accordion interaction here, which is quite simple to do. But again, all of this adds to your project, right? If we just had this entire page without these interactions, would it be different? Yes. Would it be better off? I don't think so. You know, I think these interactions add a lot of quality. It adds a lot of interactability to your project. And some of these words might be a little bit made up, but that's also okay. So let's go on to the next one here. We've got this very cool animation or interaction here with a almost like a mouse interaction where you can draw on the actual canvas. And if this isn't the synthesis of what I'm trying to explain here, where it's not going to add too much into the responsiveness of your website or the speed or anything like that, but it adds a layer of personality to your website. You know, how many portfolios do you know that have this kind of interaction? And how many places do you know where you can actually do this for free, super simple, just adding a snippet of code? Well, that is exactly what this clonable allows you to do. If you go into the page here and then if you go to the settings here if it allows me to and we also go into the body tag we'll see that we can see everything related to the code on how we can actually add that into our individual pages so this is an incredible incredible way to just take your portfolio into being a very static type of portfolio which again is also fine but I don't know if you want to add that little bit extra layer of, of pizzazz of sauce to your project, then this is a great way to do that. And also, this is just a great design as well. Very simple, very minimalist, apart from the design that is left in the background. But this is a great way to just add that little bit of extra sauce into your project. OK, next one here is an automatic link preview, which is a great, great way to have something. I recently tried to do this in one of my projects where I had all the different skills that I know, like Webflow, Cinema 4D, all the different skills lined up like that. 
And this is a great way to, to do that. So as you scroll over one of the skills or one of the, the different type of talents that you have or whatever, you can essentially have an image pop up as you scroll over that individual word. And down here we have a larger version of that. We can actually see what that would look like by itself. But this is again, very simple interaction, super easy to clone, but it, I don't know, just having this this extra little bit of interaction into your website just makes the actual experience of what you're trying to showcase easier to understand as well. Because if I can just have the text on screen and as you hover over the text, you get an image instead of having to add the image to the layout itself, that kind of makes things a little bit easier for me and it makes it a little bit fun for the end user as well. So in the actual project here, we can see that this is just a very simple card. And as you scroll over the card, we get that animation. Now, last but not least, a great clonable that you can add directly to your site is this animated timeline from Reloom. Now, the cool thing about this clonable is that you can see exactly how it's done directly in the designer. You have the timeline animation that you can see individually, how the circle goes down and what happens to the text and what happens to the images, but you can see a preview of what's actually happening within the designer itself. So this isn't one of those clonables where you can only see the embed working once you publish it. It doesn't have any embeds, anything like that. No fancy tricks here. It's just very simple Webflow animation, interactions, things like that. So this is a great way to add a roadmap to your website, maybe a timeline of your company like they did here. But if you have maybe a ton of different product launches coming up or your client has a ton of different things that they wanna do in the future, this is a great way to demonstrate that without having a static, very boring type of design. So if you guys did like any of these links that I just talked about, it's all gonna be in the description down below, right under the like button. So if you guys wanna check them out, then be sure to click those there. If you guys did enjoy this video at all, if you guys learned anything about anything I just talked about, then do let me know down below, leave a like, if you want to subscribe, if you have learned anything in any of my past videos, then I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.